Praise the Lord, saints, and welcome back to FFT, Food for Thought Ministries, where we move with purpose in our walk with Christ over here. My name is Rokisha Muhammad, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been with me since day one, welcome back, family. All right, family, we are back with another video on God commands at a glance. And what we do in this segment is go over the 1,050 commands in the New Testament for Christians to obey. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. There are 1,050 commands in the New Testament that we as Christians should be obeying. And this is on top of the moral law of the Ten Commandments. These are not commandments. These are commands. So let's be clear about that. All right. So what we do in this segment is pick about uh, between five to six scriptures and we read them in three different translations okay we read it in this bible which is the dake annotated study bible and um this is in the kjv translation known as the king james version then we'll go ahead and read it in the new international version known as the niv then we'll read it in my favorite translation which is the amplified okay if you don't have you one i highly recommend you get you an amplified bible then we'll take it a step further and read every single translation in the Bible believers commentary. Why? Because we are just pulling these scriptures out. Don't come for me. However, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you read before the scripture, after the scripture, or preferably the whole chapter to make sure that you are keeping the scriptures in context. All right. Because we know pretext plus post text brings about context but that's for you to do okay you need to study to show yourself approved so again this is just god commands at a glance this is just to get your feet wet this is just to let you know what the commands are but you should be doing your due diligence to study this thing out for yourself amen all right with that being said we're gonna go on over to see where we are we have been chucking along at this for like almost ooh, what three years now and we are at the last 200 commands we are at the last 200 commands and today was a long one and i did see a couple of people say that we were going to be doing half and i agree so this video shouldn't be too long uh should be around the one hour mark that's the goal to keep these videos around one hour one hour 15 minutes so um let's let's pray in let's pray in and then we will get started father god we glorify you we magnify you we lift up your holy name we exalt you on today we ask right now father god for forgiveness for all of our sins known and unknown we also ask right now lord god for our hearts to be purified to be sanctified for you to remove anything that is not like you out of our hearts right now in the name of jesus we also ask right now father god for you to open up our spiritual eyes so that we may see open up our spiritual ears so that we may hear open up our hearts lord god so uh, so that we may receive this word and not just be hearers only but doers also we also ask right now father god for you to descend upon us right now your divine spirit of wisdom your spirit of knowledge your spirit of clarity your spirit of understanding your spirit of revelation and your spirit of discernment father god as we decrease may you increase holy spirit you are welcome in this place have your way and teach us today in the mighty and matchless name of yeshua hamashiach in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen Woo! are you ready Woo! are you ready family all right I always get excited when it comes to the word of God. I hope you guys are ready. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you have multiple translations. If you do not, that's fine. You just use what you have. But the more, the merrier, all right? It's just going to bring about more of God's understanding. And as we read these scriptures, faith is coming, right? Because the Bible tells us that faith comes through hearing and hearing by the word of God. So the more you hear it, the more faith is coming hallelujah so let me just go back a little bit and tell you how this whole series started and we're going to go to john 14 15 
And what does it say, family? What does it say right here? John 14, 15. Uh-oh, um, a uh -oh, little crooked. John 14, 15, right here. It says, if ye love me, do what? Keep my commandments, all right? If you love Jesus, if you love the Lord, if you love the Messiah, if you love Yeshua HaMashiach, he says to keep his commandments. That is how we show him that we love him, not by professing it out of our mouth, not just by um, doing good works, not by claiming that we save, not just by going to church. No. How? He said, if you love me, do what, family? Keep my commandments. So I don't know about you, but me over here, <laughs> we want to show God that we love him by doing what? Keeping the commands. But guess what, family? You got to know the command in order to keep the command. Amen? Amen. All right. So here we go. Now let's get back to this. Let's see what we're going to read today. I'm excited. Today, I drop these every Tuesday. So God willing, I drop these every Tuesday. So um, I try to keep these on a schedule. So every Tuesday, God commands drop. So hopefully this drops on time. So let's see what we're going for today. So today, this was a lot, okay? We're not doing all of these. We're only gonna do half. So we're gonna start with Matthew 24 and 42, Matthew 24 and 25. No, 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 I said that wrong. We're gonna do Matthew 24, 42, Matthew 25, 13, Mark 13, is that 33? 33 mark 13 35 and mark 14 and 38 and i think that's where we're going to stop and then we'll have one two no what am i doing so i want to do four of them so one two three four so we're going to stop right here fam okay boom so we're going to do four today uh-huh and then we're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that four or five? I can't count y'all. I can't see. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. I'm oh, okay, girl. Pray for me. <laughs> so we're gonna do four today and then four next week, God willing. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. So again, this is how I highly recommend that you do this lesson. I highly recommend that you get your Bible, okay? You mark your Bibles. And as we go to the scriptures, pause the video, read them for yourself. Let the Holy Spirit give you revelation, give you understanding. If there's words there that you don't understand, look them up. If there's questions you have, write them down, all right? And then um, use any commentary that you may have. There's plenty of free online commentary that you can use from Bible Hub, from... Um, enduring word and it's a plethora of other ones that you can use for free if you don't have a hard copy hard copy commentary and then once you read it before the scripture after the scripture to make sure that you understand it come on back and then listen to me read it in my three translations along with my commentary and then take any notes all right that's how we do it over here so without further ado hope i didn't leave nothing out um we're gonna head on over to Matthew, can y'all see? I know this look a mess. Don't even trip. If you're new, this this is just what we do, okay? And let me just say another thing. If you hear me say bars, if you're new, I just said something that rhymed. So I say that a lot. When stuff just come to me to rhymes, I'll say bars, and that's just what that means. I, we have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome. Hey, family, hey. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go to Matthew chapter 24 verse 42 again we're going to go to the book of matthew chapter 24 and we're going to read verse 42 and this is going to be talking about watch and pray that is the topic all right watch and pray is the topic so let's head over again to matthew chapter 24 and 42 that's your cue bars to pause the video all right so let's go ahead to get to Matthew. Uh, let's see where we at. Matthew, Mark. Okay, so Matthew, and we want to go to verse 24. So I highly recommend 
that you guys mark your Bible so that you know when you come to that scripture and you see it all marked up and highlighted, um, you'll know, why did I mark this? Oh, this is a command, right? Very important, very important. All right, and I don't mark in this Bible necessarily um, because it's already marked for me and you can use this marking system as well. I'll show you in one second. Let me get to Mark 24 real quick. Okay, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. We already, what, 10 minutes in and we ain't even started. So let's see. Mark 24. Okay, here we are. Okay. I mean, not Mark. Matthew. This is why I have to show you guys so I make sure I'm in the right spot because your girl be a little off sometimes. So Matthew um, chapter 24 right down here and we want to go to verse 42. And that's not even on this page. So let's turn the page. And 42 is right here. And the way, the system that they use for marking is a little dot. If you're not big on marking up your Bible, which I don't know why, because you should be using it like a textbook, a history book, and, the, and, and your lifeline, okay? So you want to, this is like very important, at least for me. They use a dot. So anytime I see a dot in this Bible, I already know that that is a command. So I don't have to mark it. So you can use this. I was going to say you can steal this method, but you can use this method here. You put a dot and you'll know every time you see a little dot, you know that's a command. Or you can use the letter C for command. Or you can write it out, box it, highlight it like I do because I'm just a little extra. I like to see my Bibles full of color. Okay, that's just me. I don't have no method. I just pick a color and I highlight. All right. So here we go. Let's read this in the KJV. This is Jesus speaking, and this is our first command of the day. And it says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your love, your Lord, <laughs> sorry, your Lord doeth come. Mm, mm, mm. I'm glad I'm kind of familiar with this scripture because, baby, here we go. Y'all, if y'all, if you've been here a while, you already know the KJV ain't for me. Bars. Okay, here we go. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. So this is just basically saying, watch, keep a watch, be alert, right? Because you don't know the hour of when the Lord is coming back. That's basically what that's saying. Okay, so that's what it says. <laughs> so let's go ahead and read that also in the NIV. So we're just going to swap Bibles out. Let me know what translations you are using for this study. Please put that in the comments, what translations and how many translations you are using for this study. I recommend a minimum of three, but when I'm really doing my real study, I use about five. I'm just going to keep it a buck. But for the time's sake, I use three in this video. Let me know how many translations you use and what translations you use put those in the comments for your girl all right so here we go again we are on matthew 24 and we need to go to verse 42 which is right here this is a new one for us it has not been marked up and as you can see this is how i mark mine's up i usually box it off highlight it and i'll write the word command that's how i know that this is a command that's just what i do you feel free to mark your bible however you want to do it but again, let's go ahead and read. This is the NIV. Oh, let me show you because somebody's going to say, what Bible is that? This is the Bible that I'm using. This is the Charles Stanley Life Principle Bible. And it is in the NIV translation. This is one of my top five Bibles as well, just in case you want to know. So that's the Bible that we're using for the NIV. All right. So here we go. Let's read it. Whew. It's hot in here. It's hot. It's hot in my house. It's, I'm upstairs in the office in the war room and it's hot. Okay, so here we go. It says, therefore, keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. All right. And this is red letter. I mean, it's not red letter, but we know that this is Jesus speaking again. Therefore, keep watch. That's the first command. That's the first command of the day. Therefore, keep watch. Why? Because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Ooh. So we this is going to get drilled into us today because this is the whole section that we're reading. 
So faith is about to come. If you didn't get nothing else today, you go understand this command. Right? Hmm. And let me just pull you up a little bit so I can write. It might get a little blurry, but just bear with your girl. Command. All right, there it is. And I'm going to use a pink to highlight this up. This is just what I do, family. You feel free to mark your Bible however you like, but please mark it. All right, and then we'll look for any notes. And we do have... Um, Oh, no, we don't. We don't have a note. So these are the study notes down here at the bottom, but we don't have a note for 2442. It just goes to 2444. So we do not have a note in this one today. So if you have a note in your Bible for this, if you're using a study Bible, please put it in the comments for us so that we can eat. All right. So we can eat the word and study. All right. Appreciate it. All right. So now we're going to go to my favorite hands down if i have one bible to choose it would be the amplified period point blank poo all right this is the amplified can you see that amplified study bible this is my favorite 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 i can't say it enough favorite bible in the whole world amplified translation for me i don't get scooby-doo when i read this bible it just speaks to me like no other bible translation does okay because I'm a little slowy and it just helps me. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to Matthew 24 and 42, which is right here. And what is this title? Be ready for his coming. That's the title <clears throat> of this section. And just to give you an example, when I say read before the scripture or after the scripture, hopefully you can see the whole, or well, maybe not. But anyway, when it says our, our, our foundational text is right here, right? Our command, it says, be ready for Christ coming. That's the title. And our command is right here, right? So what I would do if I was you while you pause the video, I would read this whole little section, which is the whole chapter. Well, not the whole chapter, but I would start from where the title of where the command starts and I will stop because this is going into something else. This is chapter 25. So I would just be reading all of this and all of that to make sure that you are keeping the scripture in context. All right. That's just what I mean when I say read before and after. All right. So boom, there it is. That's a quick little tip. So let's go. This is again in the amplified. It says, and Jesus is speaking. So be alert. What does that mean, Amplified? Amplified, give strict attention, be cautious and active in faith. For you do not know which day, whether near or far, your Lord is coming. Come on, family. Was that crystal clear or was that crystal clear? One more time. So be alert. Give strict attention. Be cautious and active in faith for you do not know which day whether near or far your lord is coming so there it is so what do i do i'm gonna box this off okay because this is what i do i'm gonna box this off really quick and I can guess I can write command right here. Command. This is our first command of the day. Highlight that in pink. So be alert. That's the command. To be alert. Why do you need to be alert? Because you don't know the day or the hour when Jesus is coming back. Boom. That's the command. And do they have a note for us? nope there's no note in here for us either so let's go ahead and go to our handy dandy commentary grab that real quick all right family 
this is the commentary that we use for this um, series it is the believers bible commentary you can see i use it a lot you see it's how mine is all taped up because the whole spine and almost fell off so i had to <laughs> have to tape it up because I use this a lot. This is one of my favorite commentaries. What is commentary? Commentary is the interpretation, well, man's interpretation of the scripture. This is a single volume. So this is the whole Bible broken down and bite sizes so that you can understand what the scriptures are saying. You never, ever, ever put this over the word of God. You always allow the Holy Spirit to give you revelation and understanding of the word. If you happen to get stuck, and you still don't get it, I call it Scooby-Doo, where it's not making sense, then you come to this as a resource, okay? This as a resource to get better understanding of the scriptures, all right? But this is not the infallible word of God. It's just a resource and a help to help you understand. And there's so many different commentaries out there. I have a whole video, video on multiple um, commentaries that I have and which ones are easier which ones i like which ones i don't like um so you might want to go check that video out um so we are going to go to matthew which is back here and we're going to read the commentary so we can get which is pretty much self-explanatory but we're still going to read it anyway matthew 24 and 42 so let's go ahead and find that and, and this is you look it up just like scripture in the bible you go to the book and then you find the uh, verse. All right, so here we go. So we are in the book of Matthew 24, and our scripture is 24 and 42, and we're gonna read um, through 44 because it's all mixed in here together. So that's just what we're gonna do. It's pretty short, so that's okay. So here we go. Let's read. It says, in view of the uncertainty as to the day and the hour, men ought to watch, that's the command. If someone knows his house is going to be broken into, he will be ready, even if he doesn't know the exact time. The son of man will come when least expected by the masses. But we as believers, we need to stay ready, right? Therefore, we don't have to get ready, hallelujah. Therefore, his people, which is what? The believers, his followers, his children should be on the, on the tiptoes of expectancy. Command. Command. Let that sink in. Because we're going to be reading this over and over and over in just different books of the Bible. We need to be ready, family. That's the first command. To be on watch. That's the command to be on watch. Okay. So that means we need to be living in a state of repentance. We don't want to be caught dead in our sin because that's going to send us to hell. All right. We want to be in a state of repentance all time, making sure our hearts are clean, purified, that we are staying on track, staying focused and doing and obeying God's word. Hallelujah. All right, family. So here we go. Let's move on to the next one. So that's our first command of the day. And let's move this out the way. Bars. Okay. Let's get back to it. Let's see where we are. Whew, it's hot up in here. Let's go ahead and mark it off. Let's see, where did we leave off at? So we just came from Matthew 24, 42. Um, let me just check it off up here so I could check that off. So let's go to Matthew... 25 and 13 all right so that's your chance to pause the video go read it for yourself matthew 25 and 13 let's pull you up so here we are matthew and we need to go to 25 which is right here and we need to go to verse 13 oh right here already commanded up here we go so matthew 25 and 13 so let's read it Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Right? I told you this is just going to be repeated over and over and over, over, over and over. Whew, hallelujah. All right, that's pretty clear. Let's go to 
the NIV. It's going to just say the same thing. This is our lesson for today. This is our lesson for today. 25 and 13. Okay, here it is right down here. And it says what? Command. Therefore, keep watch. That's the command. Because you do not know the day or the hour. Oh, that's it. Because this is a whole new chapter right up there. So that's it. Keep watch because you don't know the day or the hour. So let me just do what I do and box this off. Okay. Pull you up a bit because I need to write. Command. And I'm going to highlight it. I'll do orange this time. Our command is to keep watch. Keep watch. All right. Therefore, keep watch. That's the command because you do not know the day or the hour. Hallelujah. So we do have a note right here for 2513. So let's go ahead and read our little note. And it says, some people have claimed to know the season of Christ's return even though the Bible says that no one can determine the day or hour. All such speculations is useless. The point is to continually watch for his coming. We are to remain in a perpetual state of readiness and an eager anticipation of his return should keep us living productively. That's a good note. That's a good note. And that's so true, right? Because nobody want to talk about dying right but that's the whole purpose to be able to get in our glorified bodies we have to transition because we don't truly die the spirit doesn't die but this fleshly body got to die because the lord said in the beginning he said if you eat of this fruit you will surely die therefore he is staying to his promise that we got to die so that we can be not in this state forever right so we can transition into our glorified bodies so we got to die we already know that so if you die before Jesus come, he already came for you and you don't know when you're going to leave here. So it's still the same situation. You don't know when he coming back and you don't know when you're going to take your last breath. So at the end of the day, you still need to keep watch and be ready because nobody is promised tomorrow, right? We don't know if we got five more minutes from now. So you still need to be ready and anticipating his coming, whether he take you first or he comes. You have to be ready, family. So it's twofold, right? Just saying. Just saying. Amen. Can I get an amen? That's the truth. You know I'm telling the truth. So we don't know. When we don't know when we're going to pass away and we, gonna, we don't know when he coming. So that's more incentive for you to stay ready. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and read it in the Amplified. So we need to go to 25. What is this here? 2513. All right, here we go, fam. Let's read it. Matthew 2513. Let's go. It says, this is the Amplify. Therefore, be on the alert. What does that mean, Amplify? Be prepared and ready. For you do not know the day nor the hour when the Son of Man will come. Mm. Come on. And that's if he come or he call for you to come home first. So we don't know either one. We don't know either one. So what? We got like the note said, you just got to stay ready. Let me write the word command here. Command. All right. Boom. And we're going to do that. Orange. Therefore, be on alert, be prepared and ready for the, for you do not know the day nor the hour when the son of man will come or come for you. Okay. Period. Woo. That's, that's actually scary. 
<clears throat> but a blessing at the same time if you're living right all right so there is no note for us down here it just went from 10 to 14 and we need 13 so no note so let's go to our commentary we only got a couple more to go they just gonna read the same thing he's gonna he gonna he drilling this into us today so we're going to go to matthew 25 and 13. okay so right here boom 25 13 matthew 25. let's go ahead and read the commentary note <clears throat> and it reads the lesson jesus said was to watch because the day and hour of his coming are unknown believers should live as if the lord might come at any moment are our lamps trimmed and filled with oil that's the question meaning are you ready are you without blemish you don't want to be like them um them, them virgins right then prepare and they didn't have enough oil in their lamp jesus came showed up the ones who was ready went on and the ones what was left behind so listen we as believers as followers of christ this is not a game family believers if that's what you are right not just a naysayer but a real true believer we should live as if the lord might come at any moment that's the command we got to be what on watch ready to go Whew. are your lamps trimmed and filled with oil or are you don't even know where your lamp at power outage go out you don't know where your candles at you don't know where your matches are you don't know where your lighters are you don't you're not ready right fumbling around in the dark don't know where nothing at ain't bought no batteries for your flashlight you just no we can't be <laughs> we can't be doing that okay so no we got to stay ready fam stay ready all hands on deck all right so here we go let's move on to the next one which is basically going to be the same word in a different book smooth this out the way this is this is hitting hard for me right now i don't know about y'all even though we know this but just to keep seeing it and reading it and over and over it's serious because some people don't take life really serious they just think they're gonna live forever and ain't making no plans and doing the bare minimum mm -mm. give it all you got give it all you got okay so we just came from matthew 25 13 check that off so now let's head on over to mark and we're going to go to 13 and 33 mark chapter 13 verse 33 let's go let's get to mark okay here's mark and we want to go to <clears throat> 13 let's just get there 10 11 12 is up here okay 13 and what I say 33 33 okay here we go let's read it mark 13 33 it reads take ye heed watch and pray for ye know not when the time is mm. I was reading it after I was reading it after too so that's why I had a I had a pause If you read them 22 23 and 24 they all go together so but anyway 33 is our focus take ye heed watch and pray so what's been added we should not just be on alert and watch we should also pray that's what's been added okay that's what i'm looking for like what's changing so not only should we watch and be ready we should be praying as well second command well not the second command 
Well, yeah, that's the second command within the first command. Not just watch, now pray as well has been added. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the time of what? If you want to know, it'll tell you in the next verse. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter, the porter to watch. Oof. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's go. Because I don't even want to get started with that. Because I'll be... <laughs> you already know let me just stay focused to this to the to the plan look at this this is just do you see this that's what i'm talking about all these is commands anyway so let's go to mark so this is matthew so mark is this way so we want to go to mark 13 y'all let's go to mark 13 okay let's see 10 11 okay mark 13 is right down here and we want to go to verse um 33 um okay that's right down here and this is entitled as well the day and hour unknown all right so let's read 33 and it says be on guard the king james said be on watch right be on guard exclamation point be alert exclamation point they're emphasizing it you do not know when that time will come all right so there's no note for us but oh is it no it's not so let's go ahead and mark this okay I just had to make sure I was on the right spot uh, we could do yellow let's do yellow why not Okay, boom, there it is. Be on guard. Be alert. You do not know when the time will come. That's to your own personal death or when Jesus is coming. Because if you die before Jesus came, he yo, you already been you you've been already taken up. Okay? So man, oof. Be alert. All right, let's go ahead and get to the Amplified. you like, how many times is going to say it? But what did you notice? And that one, I didn't see pray. Hmm. Let me see if it was some notes. Let me, let me, just, let me just check something because the last one we've seen, this one said, wait, let me get back down here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said, you didn't, you didn't point out the difference. It says, be on guard, be alert. You do not know when that time will come. But in the KJV, it said, watch and pray. Remember? So let's see. Um, oh, here go the footnote right here. See, this is why you got to look at the footnotes. So it did give us an E right here. It says, be alert. Then it has a C right there. Can y'all see that? I want to make sure this is how you read, look at stuff. So, um... This is why people say, I don't use this Bible because it takes stuff out, blah, 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 blah. But you have to look for the footnotes. So this is a great example. It said, be on guard, be alert. KJV said, um, be on watch and pray, right? So this says, be alert. But see that little C right there? So now if you come down here to your little footnotes, which is very important. C says what? For 33, some manuscripts alert say, I mean, alert and pray. So it wasn't taken out. You just got to look for your footnote. Just, But if you don't know to look for the footnote and you don't know what them little letters is for, you're not going to even know that pray was a part of it. Right? So that's just a little sidebar tip. 
when you see little letters and numbers look down here in your footnotes or in your transliterary um, notes and see it says some manuscripts um, alert and pray so there go the pray y'all see that all right hopefully you understand what I'm talking about let me know in your Bible I mean let me know in the comments that your Bible have pray in the scripture or did you have a footnote for it please let me know and let me know that translation please I just want to know I'm just curious all right so let's go here to the amplified amplified mark 13 um, so let's get to Matthew and Mark so let's get to Mark 13 fam Okay, so let's just turn okay 12 still 12 okay so here's 13 and 33 30 3 so let's see if my girl got prey up in here cuz she better not be playing with me okay here we go 33 be on guard uh-huh that's the, the command and stay consistently alert and pray my girl got it for you do not know when the appointed time will come all right again let me know in the comments if your Bible scripture has the word pray or did you have to find it in the footnote and list the translation please okay I'm just I just want to know the Amplify got it. Okay. Boom. All right. So let me see. Is there a study note for us? And there is not. It goes straight from 32, skipped 33, and went to 34. So no study note. So let's go to our commentary. Oh, all these books. Right. We only got one more to go, fam, and we are at 41 minutes. See, we're doing good. So let's go to Matthew. I mean, no, we're gonna go to Mark, which is right here. We're gonna go to Mark 13, 11. That's too far. Okay, 13 and 33. 13, 28. 1333 so we got a little bit to read because it's mixed in okay so we you see that we are in mark 13 and then um, 33 to 37 is mixed together so we're just gonna read it all because I don't know where it stops all right so that's what we're gonna do so let's go ahead and read. So this is Mark 33 through 37. So let's read it. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. The chapter closes with an exhortation to watchfulness and prayer. Mm-hmm. And prayer. Mm-hmm. Let me underline that. In view of the Lord's return, the fact that we do not know the appointed time should keep us on the alert. How many people you see in the, on alert? everybody's slipping okay here we go a similar situation is common in everyday life a man goes away from home on a long trip he leaves instructions with his servant and tells the watchman also to be on the out to be on the lookout for his return Jesus Jesus likened himself to the traveling man he may come back at any hour of the night mm. But what you doing? Sleeping on the job? I'm sorry. Um, in an in, in hour of the night. His people, meaning the believers, his children, serving as night watchmen, um, should not be found sleeping. So he left this word for all his people. Watch. That is the command, family. That is the command. And we're going to leave it right there because then this goes into 14 and some other stuff. 
All right. So boom, keyword is to be watched, not to be sleeping on the job, not to be taking your life here on earth lightly. You should be continuously praying, continuously trying to get it right, continuously in the state of repentance, continually seeking the Lord's face and his will and his way. Right? Period. That's it. That's all we should be doing. Helping the needy, helping the orphans, helping the poor, and listening to what God has told us to do. That's, that's what we should be doing. Staying ready. Not getting ready. Staying ready. All right, Ugh. our last scripture of the day. All right, family, we gonna learn today, right? He telling us today, this is something that we should not be taking lightly. This is a command. How many times have we read it now? If you, if, if this ain't in your spirit, I don't know what's going on. And then you still got all these more scriptures to go. So we're gonna come to Mark, um, 13 and 35 right mark can y'all see me mark um we know that it's 13 but if we just have a 35 here so we know it's still in the same book of mark so mark 13 but we're going to go to verse 35 this time all right so let's go and read it mark 13 35 um right down here boom Let's read it. Watch ye therefore, for ye not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. Basically, you don't know the time. You don't know if he, you don't know. So you just better stay ready, period. There it is. NIV. Hmm. I wonder what it's going to say. Uh, so we need to go to 13 and this was 33. So we need to find 35, which is right down here. Did I mark? I think I did. Did I mark the other? I don't even. Did I mark it in the. We'll see. We'll see. I don't remember if I marked it or not. So let's read 35, fam. Therefore, keep watch. Why is he repeating this? Because this is important, right? Therefore, keep watch because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows or at dawn. Okay, so we just going to box this off. Oh, see, I didn't write command. And then I'm going to write, pull you up a bit, and put command right here. I'll do this blue. I'll do blue. All right. Whew. And again, there's no note. We have 34, but no 35. Nope, it skips. So let's go to our amplified. This the last one, y'all. Where we at? We gonna we gonna we gonna make it. All right. So so no, I did not. So let me just um let me write command real quick. I know I didn't write it. Command. Now just jump to thirty five. This is the amplify, and it reads: Therefore, be continually on the alert for you do not know when the master of the house is coming whether in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows or in the morning so one said the dawn so if you don't know what dawn is you know dawn means the morning right let 
the rooster crows and let's highlight this blue as well therefore be continually on alert for you do not know when the master of the house is coming whether in the evening or at midnight or when the roast ro rooster crows or in the morning I'm just write it over here command and do we got a note oh we do oh no we don't nope I thought it was 34 I mean 35 but it's 34 so we do not have a note it just jumped all right so let's go ahead to our commentary and we're done y'all that was quick and all you're getting you better get an understanding because he showed drilled it in today and then next week too gonna be the same thing so we want to go to mark 30 oh we already read it because this was through 37 so we pretty much done family because we read 13 33 through 37 and that 35 was already in here right right yep so yeah we already read this we already read this so we already we're done we're we're we're, we're out of here so let me close these bibles up close this one up all right let's swap this back out so we don't have to reread that again because we just read through it um i wasn't even paying attention that we did that but it is what it is so let's get back to where we are Ooh, look at all this y'all who we moved to know we are getting there okay so we stopped right here so next week god willing we're going to read um mark 14 38 luke 21 36 ephesians 6 18 and colossians 4 and 2 and then we're gonna stop um one two three four and then next we can do those we probably got another month and we'll be done with these family how about it so how am i gonna do this Hmm. Okay, let me just. I don't know. Because I need to <clears throat> keep track. I know this is just a hot mess. This is week 158. Alright, and then 159. I guess I can write it right here. All right, that's good. Y'all can, I know where I'm at. 158. All right, 158 family. So that's it. We are done for the day. I thank you for joining me today. If it's your first time here, I hope everything made sense. Um, I hope you learned something. We couldn't learn nothing but be alert and pray and stay ready, right? If you have any other comments, I mean, not comments, study notes, Put them in the comments, even though I know it's going to say the same thing. But sometimes it's a certain word that it just hits you like no other word, right? And make it all make sense. But this was a pretty clear lesson. We need to stay ready. We need to continue to pray because we do not know what the time or the hour. That was This was a powerful lesson to me. It's just making me um, more conscious and aware of not just to be living everyday life get up go to work cook dinner you know um clean the house do you do you you know no we need to be, okay i gotta do my devotional do my little study time no family it's more than that it's so much more than that so that's just what it made me aware to just not to be living life monotony you know we should it said we should be eager awaiting his anticipation right giving our whole hearts giving our whole minds to him right living in a state of repentance period so anyway i love you guys continue to pray for me as i pray for you 
and I will see you beautiful souls next week if God spares life. Shalom. Thank you.